Superman Brainiac Attacks is the weakest entry in the DC animated movies. Now, really, this is not really canon to the actual DC movies. This is like a standalone movie, but it is DC's property, and it is an animated movie, so I might as well get to that one, too. So the plot of Brainiac Attacks is Lex Luthor forms an unlikely bond with Brainiac and uses this very small piece of kryptonite from the far innards of space that and a piece of Superman's DNA Lex Luthor finds a way to manipulate the robot to of course destroy Superman but not only that Lois Lane gets critically injured in the battle and Superman has to go to the far reaches of the fucking Phantom Zone to find this strand of energy that could that's the only thing around that could save Lois's life. This movie has so much potential to be good. So much potential to be great. But it kind of drops the ball. Especially with Lex Luthor. Lex Luthor is like the Gene Hackman version of Lex Luthor, which is the Lex Luthor I do not like. I like my Lex Luthor dark. I like him serious. Not so much with this one. And he's played by Powers Booth. I have no idea who that is. Don't care. It's not Clancy Brown, so that sucks. The only two main actors that come back for this movie is uh, Tim Daly as Superman and Dan Delaney as Lois Lane. That's it. Mercy sounds like a fucking 12-year-old girl instead of the, the, the older woman like she should be in the fucking animated series. I don't like that either. Sounds like some type of schoolgirl right out of high school or some shit. I don't know what the fuck they were doing with that. The action in the movie is fine. This is more of a style over substance, and I hate saying that, but it's true. The action actually saves this movie because it's pretty damn good. I like how the fact that Brainiac can regenerate like the T-1000, that was actually pretty decent. I actually like that, so if he's very badly damaged in battle, he can regenerate himself. Kind of like Christine from the movie Christine. <laughs> I like the struggles he has to go through to try to tell Lois Lane that he's Superman and Clark Kent at the same time, but it's not really expressed more than what it should be because of the runtime of the movie alone. I wish the movie had a lot more time to go in depth with that because that would be something awesome to look at because that's what Superman has to fight to deal with on a daily basis anyways. So why not see him actually struggle with that? You know, give give him a reason to want to tell Lois. But it kind of gets glossed over because the story has to move along and Lois has to be constantly in danger of dying and stuff like that. So it could have been so fucking much better than what we got. I'm not joking. <sighs> Why couldn't y'all just get all the voice actors back? It doesn't have to be a in the, the moment DC animated movie. You know? Just get the same actors. I, I wouldn't have no more other problems in that besides the story than they bring out back the fucking actors. All of them. Not just two. Okay? But, I digress. Again, this is the weakest entry in the series, especially let alone for Superman. But it's not the worst. This is like Superman 3 weak, but it's not the quest for peace bad. Oh, hell no. It's a million miles better than that. I would rather watch this again than the quest for peace. That's for fucking damn sure. <laughs> I watched this fucking Supergirl the movie over the quest for peace. Yeah, I said it. Oof. Oof. No, no way. But I do gotta review Supergirl, that and the show, so. It's coming anyways. But uh yeah. I will give Superman Brainiac Attacks a C. Let me know what you guys think about Brainiac Attacks down below. Did you like it? Did you not like it? That is it. I have now reviewed all DC animated movies that is out right now. The next one is coming, The Killing Joke. <laughs>